Hi, this is Terry Grover from Terry Grover Computer Consulting. I'm working today with the program Excel, part of your office suite. A lot of my clients don't think they would ever want to use Excel. All of those formulas can be a little bit intimidating. But what if we start out just by making a chart of words and don't even worry about formulas? There are still a couple of cool functions I can teach you today. Let's say I'm making this chart of luncheon duty roster for every month of the year and every week of the month. I might click in any one of these cells and type a name, for example, so I can have my schedule. Let's start this one from scratch. I'm going to click File and New and just use a blank workbook for now. Let's create it. Notice how it's the top left hand cell, these are each called a cell, that's automatically chosen. Let's type a title. Luncheon duty. Great. How do I change the font in Excel? I can go here into the cell itself and select it. I could also do it up here because you notice that's where the text is as well. Okay, take a look up here under font and let's find one I like. How about Arial Rounded? It's kind of a nice, easy font to use. Let's see, I would like to make it bigger. Notice how when I run down the numbers, it turns bigger all by itself? That one looks good. Okay, and how about the color? This is where I can change my font color. I'm gonna make it blue. Okay, notice when I click somewhere else that this row got a little bit taller in order to accommodate the size font I chose there. Now I would like to have this centered on my chart, so I'm going to say, let me see, I want my whole table to be this wide. Click here and then up here, this box that says Merge and Center, oh, look at that. Now I have a nicely centered title. Great. Now let's go down here, a nice space, row three, and let's type January. Do you want to type every single month of the year? Neither do I. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go up here this time, change that font, and just make the very top item the way I want it to be. There, January. Let's have some fun. We'll make it purple. Okay. Now, up here, I want the weeks. Week one. Okay, again. I would like a different font, so I'm going to change it just like that. Let's have a little more fun. I'll make that one orange. Okay, how do I make these rows and columns the right width? Well, I can just go right up here, and when I go on the line, do you see what happens? I can click and drag that. Same thing here, click and drag. Okay, that's what we'll do for now. Now, here I am in week one. Well, I want five weeks. Some months have five weeks. Do you see this little box in the lower right-hand corner of the cell? I'm going to click that box after my little cursor turns into a plus and drag it over. Week two, week three, week four. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, same thing here. Click on the January. See the little box in the lower right-hand corner? turns into a plus, and watch the little tags. They're going through the whole entire year. Let go. <gasps> Look at that. There are all my months. Now I can do whatever I like. I can stretch these columns out to be a little bit wider. I could do the same with the height of each of these if I wanted to. Or I could select these, go over here to Format, Format, Row, Height. What if I want to make it, oh, it's 15 points now. Let's make it 20. There, see what happened? Now each one is a little bit wider. Oh, let's get September in there, perfect. I can even shade these by clicking on my little paint pot and choosing a color, shade these. Click on the little paint pot, choose a different color. How about that one? No, that one, why not? 
Now I'm good to go. All I have to do is click in each box, type the name, and I'm all set. And that's how to make a table in Excel.